pendulum drive update. We have the uh, lever arm and upper sprocket attached. Uh, the smaller, uh, let's see here, the smaller sprocket has less travel, but uh, it'll have more torque than the previous uh, version. And uh, the objective is, is to get the RPM at the bicycle wheel as high as possible. And uh, we may have to mount uh, two uh, hoverboard motors, uh, you know, run uh, two of them in parallel uh, to get the five amps. Uh, that's the objective. Uh, the difference with this uh, version will be We've uh, configured the, uh, we're going to have the bob on a uh, spring-loaded uh, track. And as it gets to the bottom of the spring, or the swing, <laughs> spring swing, uh, we'll have a mount, uh, permanent magnet uh, mounted on the bottom, another permanent magnet uh, uh, in repulsion mode. And as it swings past, it'll push up on the weight. Like, you know, you know, hopefully uh, putting more energy back into the system. And we'll see if we can uh, achieve uh, a positive feedback. That'd be nice. But then, uh, you know, we'll uh, adjust the uh, output on the alternators to, uh, you know, prevent, it in, prevent the uh, system from going into uh, overload or self-destruction mode or whatever you want to call it. But uh, that's the uh, project so far. So we'll have uh, gear train, maybe six, uh, maybe nine, uh, one to nine on the gear train, and then the uh, you know the uh, increased uh, RPM at the uh, at the bicycle tire. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're getting close though. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Getting closer. Yeah, we'll have. Uh, I did uh, some basic tests with the spring and weights, and uh, at 40 pounds, 40 pound bob, it stretches the spring approximately 24 inches. Uh, so, you know, we'll have uh, adjustments on the uh, on the lever arm, and uh, we'll go from there. More to show in the future. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Cheers.